Okay, Tim, so how do we put these together? Yeah, it's uh, very uh, user-friendly, Richard. Uh, we've designed it that way so that uh, the farmers can install very quickly and rapidly. Um, if there's any sort of problems, we do have that 0800 number, 0800 for Easy Milk. And uh, please do feel free to give us a call or you can also contact us via our website. But basically, Richard, what we're finding is that that left to right configuration, especially on our rear teats, as we've shown on the previous sort of video footage, and we basically, we just sort of unwind, uh, once the product comes to you, they'll sort of be in this configuration here. What we've done, Richard, part of our design process, obviously we've addressed the, the, the varying sizes of, of short milk tubes. So with those inflations, we're finding that there's a, a variance of anywhere between sort of a 16 mil outside diameter to roughly about a 22. Uh, outside diameter with that so basically we've designed it so that one size fits all and we can actually get a really really snug fit with our with our our design um, that we've, we've undertaken as well as so basically all we need is just a basic little Phillips head screwdriver small ones are great um, you can also use a little uh, a battery pack drill uh, some people like using that perhaps it's a little bit quicker I find just using this I can sort of get that feel and I can get that perfect fit the main thing Richard is not to under tight uh, uh, under tighten it or over tighten and we want it more or less sort of perfect to perfection first thing that we do is we take the cluster like this and we face this way uh, you can sort of see the diameter of the of the easy cup here. It's wider at the top, smaller on the bottom, and that's to, to coincide with the design of most milk line, line uh, tubes as well as. So we, we take it in through here, we open it up, and we simply pinch the tube, pinch the tube, and we slide it on like so. So there's one there, and then we go ahead and we do the same thing on the corresponding side. Pinch, slide through, then we bring it up into this position like so, and then we just easily slide it all the way up to the butt end of the cylinder, of the stainless steel cylinder of the cluster. So it's real important, Richard, that we, we make sure that that's all the way up to the top. If it's down just a little bit, we find that we get a little bit too much floppiness. Basically, we've designed this thing within millimeters of perfection because we know from dairy farmers perspective this thing's got to work hundred percent of the time not ninety percent not ninety eight percent not even ninety nine percent but hundred percent of the time so that's what we've done so we just sort of bring that all the way up we've got a little lip here designed into the feature as well and you'll notice on most milk tubes that there is a little ridge on the bottom there's that little rib sort of area in through there that little slot so we've designed that uh, roughly about a millimeter and that adds to keeping the, the easy cups in position the whole time. Because the last thing we want to do, Richard, is to continually having to go back to those cups and to, to adjust them. We just want to put them on and we want to leave it. Okay. So we go from there. From there, Richard, all we do is we, we flip the, the cups back over in this position here. Take your handy little device and just go ahead and screw it into place just till it's a little bit taut. Do the same with the next. Screw that into place like so, just so that it's a little bit tight. And then we just do a quick little visual on the sides and we just make sure that there's no indentations or impressions on that tube. Um, we don't want it to, to be squeezing. Uh, we don't want to minimize any air intake or any, any milk flow coming through, through those tubes. So we want to just, again, we want it to have it to, to perfection. So basically, I already had gone ahead and tightened those. I'm just gonna tighten down just a little bit more a little bit more like so. I'll have a look at it. And then what I will do, Richard, is I will just go ahead and I'll just sort of slightly tug, not a huge tug, but a slight tug, and just to see how that's gonna fit on there. And that looks to be pretty good. That one is a little bit loose, so I'll just pop that back up like that, flip it back over, give it a couple more little twists, give it another little test, and good as gold. And this, this unit's ready to go. So Fantastic. there's a unit there, up like that, not a problem. 